Hello, this is Hope Kaya of SantaFeWebDesign.net and this is another short tutorial on blogging in Joomla for search engine optimization. So I'm at a, a website called JewishBook.me and we've gone to the blog link and if you scroll down you'll see at the end of each link of each blog post there's a phrase not not just a Thank you for being part of my family and reading Not Just a Jewish Book blog. And Not Just a Jewish Book blog has been colored, and uh, we are, which is nice. And uh, but what we're going to do is turn that colored part into a link that links to the home page of the blog, because this site is optimized for Jewish Book. Millions and millions of people are searching for Jewish book, and this is a memoir of a Jewish woman, and it's a beautiful, beautiful story, which I highly recommend that you read. Um, very touching. So what we're going to do is use the phrase Jewish book and link it to the home page for the blog, okay? And you can see up here at the top of the browser, it says Not Just a Jewish Book Blog. Um, we named the blog the Not Just a Jewish Book Blog so that um, we could take advantage of the word Jewish Book. And uh, Jean Simonoff, who is the author, is climbing up the ranks of Google for that particular search uh, as a result of the things we've done here, like naming the blog Not Just a Jewish Book Blog. So, but we want to go further and we want the end of every post to actually link to the home page of the blog. And, and of course, it has the phrase Jewish book in it. So when search engines see a phrase that people are searching for as a link, that phrase, it, when that phrase is a link, linking to a page that's optimized for that phrase, which this one is, this page is optimized for not just a Jewish book blog. You can tell because it's in the title tag. There are other ways to tell, but that's the, the best uh, indication, one of the best indications, and there's many more things you could do. But, um, okay, so what we're going to do is go into the admin area of this site in Joomla and convert these phrases to links to the home page of the blog. Ready? Okay, so I've already opened the admin area of the site. I've logged into it. And I'm going to click on Article Manager. And I'm going to select the category, which is the blog, right here, see? So that I'm only looking at the um, articles that are part of the blog. And she has quite a few. She's doing a great job, which is why she's climbing up the ladder of Joomla. So I'm going to look for all of them. Look at all of them. And we're not going to fix all of them today, but I just wanted you to see um, the steps I'm going to take in case you need to go back into your blog and do some linking that will help you for, for search engine optimization. So we'll go to, let's look at, is this the most recent? The most recent is Golden Dawn, My Connection to Pablita Velarde. Okay, here we go. And there it is. It is the most current one. I'm just going to click on it. Wait for it to open. Wait and scroll. Okay, we are we're there. And I use the JCE content editor with my with my sites, which I highly recommend. So here we have that red uh, text. So what we're we really don't need it to be red because once we turn it into a link it's going to become the right color because of the, uh, the cascading style sheets in this site. Uh, but in fact, see how this one up here is blue? This link is blue. If we go back to the blog post, it, see that turns red automatically just because of the, the style sheets that have already been made for this site. So I don't think we even have to bother removing this color. It's a little bit of extra code though that's not necessary. I won't walk you through that. I'll do that later myself. You're not going to give it a color, uh, and so you won't have to deal with that. But we're just going to highlight the text. And 
you need JCE Content Editor installed. So go to the Joomla extensions and get JCE Content Editor and install it if you don't have it already, but this site does. Oh, so I have to go back here. See this link icon that's going to show up when you have JCE Content Editor installed? And we're going to click on it. And we're going to navigate to the home page of the blog. And that particular page is listed in the menu. So we're going to go to the main menu for the site. I'm just clicking through. And then I'm going to go to the Jewish Book blog. OK. So I've done that. You can see the text that we've highlighted that's going to become the link. And there's a, there's a link here which represents what I just clicked, okay, which is the Jewish book blog. We don't have to touch anything down here. Um, you could give it a title if you wanted, which will raise a flag when people roll over that text. And it is more text for search engines, but we really just don't need it. I'm going to choose Insert. Heh. So now that red text has gone away, but it's probably still in the code. And I'm going to save this. I'm in, I'm, this is Joomla 1.5, which when you hit Apply, it makes the changes live, but it doesn't take you away from this page. Uh, so the changes should be live. Let's go back to the blog post and refresh it. Um, you can choose Edit Reload or Edit Refresh. I hit my Command key and R. Um, there are different ways with different browsers. So now look, see how that phrase is now uh, the right color. And if you click on it, it takes you back to the home page of the blog. So we're going to do that for every blog post. But in this case, I'm going to, um, I'm going to get back in and, and fix the code a little bit before I, I actually will copy and paste that link into every blog post. So, um, Thank you very much. Now, here's another, here's another little thing. This is a technique where every time you finish a blog post, you do the same thing. You add a keyword phrase and you link it to, uh, say, the home page of your blog. But you also want to be linking to, let's say, other articles within your blog or other pages on your website. So um, we could, you know, we could be linking to reviews or events or or the book. But generally you want to be thinking, okay, what keywords can I be using in my links? Okay? And and what pages are optimized for those keywords? Now, if you just wanted to know what I just taught you, go ahead and stop the video and go ahead and implement what I just taught you. But um, we'll go a little bit further right now. And we're going to look at her other posts. Like what if people were searching for Nina Simone? Okay. And you wanted those people to find you. In this case, I doubt that the, the audience for Nina Simone at Montreux would necessarily be the right audience for this book. But still, if you if you felt that it was or you wanted to be attracting those people, we could be you could be adding a sentence to another post that links to this one, right? So let's and using the keywords. So let's pretend that we want to do that on this one that we were just working at. So I'm still in the I'm back into the back end administration area of Joomla and I've scrolled down and let's say we were talking about jazz, which we're not. Um, but you could say, oh and so we, we've just inherited that red color which is a little bit problematic. I'm gonna see if I can ah yeah. All right, well, ignore the red color. I'll fix that later. Um, but here we go. Uh, um, interested in jazz? Uh, read this Nina Simone post. Now, you would probably not put the words this way, but don't worry about it. If there, Let's say you're talking about a subject that does tie into another blog post you've done. You could, you could say, are you interested in XYZ? Read this XYZ post. And then you highlight the XYZ. In this case, it's Nina, Nina Simone. And then we'll go up once again to the link icon. 
And in this type of case, we're going to go into content because there's no menu item for that particular post. And I've clicked on content and I'm going into blog and I'm going to not just a Jewish book blog and I'm going to find Nina Simone. Hopefully we will be able to find Nina Simone easily in this list. Maybe if I stretch it to the right, but that's not making the Ah, there it is, all that jazz, Nina Simone. So we're clicking on it. And you can see the text that's going to be the link is Nina Simone. And that's the best way to make a link is when the text itself is a keyword that people might be searching for. So I'm going to hit insert. And I'm going to briefly apply this to the site and then I'm going to delete it. But I just wanted to show you this technique. So now I'm going back to the front end. I've saved what I just did. I'm going back to the front end. I'm in this blog post. I'm refreshing my browser by hitting Command R, or in your case, it's usually Control R. So see how we have this funny red text? That won't be there. But see how Nina Simone had a link now? So I clicked on it, and it took me right to that post. Now, of course, Nina Simone is in the title of that post, and Nina Simone is in the title of the web page. Search engines love that. The more you can do it, the better. And the more the keywords can be relevant to your ideal client, which in this case would be Jewish book, or Jewish memoir, um, or Jewish childhood. You know, when you can use those phrases and link them to pages that are optimized for those phrases, uh, and you can create those pages by blogging about that topic, and then that blog post has that in the title. So I hope you're getting a feel for this particular technique that search engines still really love, as of when I'm making this movie, so that when you're linking to pages that are optimized for a phrase that people are searching for, like Nina Simone, and you can tell this page is optimized for that phrase because it's in the title of the post and it's in the title of the of the page, which is you can see in the browser Chrome at the top right there. So when you link to a page that's optimized for a phrase and you're using that phrase, I'm going to back up, as a link, Nina Simone is the link itself. You're not putting www dot blah, blah blah You're putting Nina Simone as the text for the link. Then um, you've got a magic combination uh, for search engines. And so we're going to fix this blog so that all of them have that correct. Uh, this particular link at the end of each blog post is working properly instead of just being a red some red text, okay? So I hope you get the feel. I would totally take advantage of this and uh, enjoy web marketing. Enjoy Joomla. Okay, again, this is Hope Kaya at santafewebdesign.net.